advantages or uh, one of the uh, advancement in science uh, in in helping the treatment in infertility of course the first one is ICSI the in, uh, meaning the introduction of single sperm into the egg now with that treatment ICSI is such an effective treatment for male infertility that is so effective that men who had who have no sperm found in the ejaculate now can even get sperm from the testes and inseminate into the egg and get embryos and babies born from their healthy children all right now another important aspect of course very important for uh, advancement in the further treatment is the environment within the laboratory now clean air is very important because we try to mimic the environment that the uterus is. So one of the green, clean air meaning that the air coming into the laboratory has to be free of uh, certain uh, volatile organic compounds that can harm the embryos and uh, dust particles. So the dust load and, and the what we call VOC has to be minimal. Now, another aspect of advancement is that the, the incubator environment whereby the embryos are being grown with for the next few days, for the, like these five days. The embryos are used to be kept in a big box like a type of incubator, but now they are kept in a shoe box like of incubator. Now, this from a big box to a shoe box size, this advancement has improved the quality of the embryo and because the uh, environment is more easily controlled with using a shoebox environment. And of course, another advancement will be the development of, of the uh, culture medium for the embryos. Now, in the beginning, when I first started the IVF practice, uh, we had to make our own uh, culture medium we have to find out what sort of nutrients to add in and how good they are and purified. So every time when we make it, we have to do a quality control and it's sometimes the quality varies according to batches. So now, the, because of the uh, advancement in the research in the uh, media uh, culture for the embryos, the scientists know what type of nutrients that can be added in and what type of nutrients have been taken will be taken out to improve the quality of the embryos, and that in that aspect, so the uh, the embryos grow very well, and you need not have to uh, transfer more than one embryo as you used to be about ten, more than ten years ago, where you transfer three, and then go to two embryos. Now we can transfer one embryo a blastocyst stage, the final stage of embryo development before implantation. So it's so effective now that if you transfer one blastocyst, the chance of getting pregnant is between 50 and 70 percent, depending on the age of the woman and the quality of the embryo that she produced.